right, guys. Thank you. Make sure to subscribe, press that notification bell, and leave a comment, guys. And uh, make sure you do that because you don't want to miss any new videos or any new updates. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. It's Romy from Solid Gold Shows. We're about to plant our Elderica pines or one will be is Elderica. I think the other one, I'm not sure if it's a, really an Elderica, but uh, Landis Nursery said it is, but maybe it's just grown differently. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is going to be in the back area near the old uh, chicken coop. So. That's one right there. You can plant it there, and that's going to provide uh, uh, more of a windbreaker because uh, this is the east side. Uh, it's like 50% of the wind comes here as well, and the other one is in the west side. But uh, here's the other one. So we already dug a hole, we're going to put some compost in there and uh, some, what do you call that, coffee grounds because they like slightly acidic uh, soil. So that's going to be there. I'm probably going to put a foil around the trunk as well because I don't have uh, chicken wire right now just to prevent uh, any rabbits that it may come here. Sometimes it comes in the front. All the way in the front and goes here in the back <laughs> now it can't get out it does come here unless it goes back to the front but yeah the one was good so i did uh by the way i trimmed the lower part because i want all the energy to be on top so it'll grow bigger and faster so yeah we'll do that and of course the other one here the uh, the one I exchanged at uh, Home Depot because uh, it died, so this is the new one. So we're gonna go ahead and plant this one here as well. We'll put compost. Yeah, so this is the back area. Plan to put one more right there. That's gonna be later, it's not important. But yeah, at this moment, because uh, that should be, uh, this should suffice for now. I'll probably uh, put one more right there as well one here and one there but uh, I'll probably put uh, the fruiting mulberry or then I'll put a uh, fruiting one more like the fruiting one because I do want this as a food forest and the non fruiting I'll probably uh, put that in front it's gonna be as a uh, privacy um, tree uh, yeah and a windbreaker as well so yeah I do need privacy right there in front you know, people, curious people, they pass by, they slow down, they stop sometimes and look. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't like that. Cur curious or something else. Well, uh, we have some coffee grounds here. Remix uh, soil. Uh, we're gonna use this PVC pipes. So when we water it, it's gonna go directly to the root system. So it's gonna prevent evaporation of water. Because we don't have a well here or running water, we have water delivered. So yeah, so that's very important. Probably not the right time to uh, transfer trees right now, but it's okay. We're not disturbing the roots that much or at all. Just uh, transplanting it. That's it. Okay. 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 
I did that last time. And it turned out to be okay. No problem. Survived. Look, we have warmth. Warmth are very beneficial. So, let me show you. Let me go uh, take a closer look. There it is. See those warmth right there? Yes. You think that's not beneficial? That's very beneficial when it comes to gardening, guys. Worms are very, very important as well. Yeah, just want to show you guys that. Summer, 110 degrees, 115, it's crazy. So that's gonna help a lot. And at the same time, watch this, uh, it's gonna be like a canopy tree. So our fruit trees, you know, the medium sized ones, it's gonna be shaded by the canopy tree. That's gonna help out with the sun and all that. Yeah, then we can start growing uh, bushes, uh, uh, like, uh, what do you call that, berries, then we can start to uh, ground covers, uh, strawberries, you know that, tubers, but it can be a while, 
gonna be it'll probably take five years. <laughs> but at least we're doing something, guys. We're doing something. So anyone that lives here in uh, Antelope Valley, come on, guys. Let's let's put, uh, plant some fruit trees. Just one. Plant one fruit trees on the land. Take care of it. Okay, that's gonna help the environment. Even just one per acre, guys. One per acre. So we do have like five acres here, but we have tons, tons of trees, but it's not all around because we want to start our food forest inside here first. So it'll strive, then later on we'll expand it. We're gonna expand it with the rest of the acreage. We're gonna put a fence just to make sure that rabbits and all that doesn't come in and eat it. Uh, wild dogs, uh, we got pets, two stray dogs again, two big ones guys. I mean, I'm talking about big, they're big dogs. I'm gonna see if my son have a picture of it and I will show you, but they're big, okay? But are we uh, that high? Yes, not standing up, they're that high, it's huge. But yeah, so we're gonna make it look like uh, outside here. We're gonna make it look like a park. You know, with different species, different fruits, different trees, different type of cactus, and, and, and people can visit and all that, all right? So let's go ahead and finish this. I'm not going to show you guys the other one as I plan it. Makes no sense. But I'll show you guys the end result of it, okay? Lightly dump it down. Okay. We'll make a trench so when we water it, the water will go directly to the root system here and not outside. water will be concentrated inside the root ball. Yeah, so any, uh, any of you guys want to do a sponsorship? We need a well. <laughs> I know it gets expensive. Well, the well is expensive. That's the most important is the well. And second is the uh, electricity. Whew. But uh, yeah, the most important guys is water. If water is life, right? Without water, nothing will grow. We made the trench here, so we'll put a little bit more of the ground right on top. Should have put some uh, chicken wire around the root system because I believe there's some bones here too. Be okay so let me go ahead and water it and uh, I'll show you guys Helping us out with water. And, uh, 
great guy. Hey, Jose, if you're watching this, thank you, man. You're the best, dude. And uh, God bless you and your family. But uh, yeah, thank you, Jose. Great guy. Up, and we'll go ahead and uh, pour some water there too. Yeah, so this uh, PVC pipes, we got it for free because when uh, I guess someone used to live here, they have PVC pipes and just dumped it there. So we took it. I cut it up so we can uh, use this for our plants, for our trees. So basically, I pour water right in there. And that goes directly to the roots without the evaporation. So yeah, that, that, that helps a lot. So we'll let that soak then uh, We'll water it again, just to make sure it's uh, well uh, uh, soaked and all that, well watered. So I'll, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do the other one. But uh, yeah, like what I said, I'm not gonna show you guys that. It's gonna be too long of a video, and probably boring as well. Yeah, so I'll just show you guys the end result, okay? All right, so let's do it. I got my shovel, I got some soil, organic soil that's in there already. So yeah, let's start it. We got to mention guys, we're gonna be putting mulch on this as well. We'll probably uh, get it at uh, Home Depot or Lowe's. Put some mulch up right on top. So that's gonna be beneficial as well. Yeah, so forgot to mention that. It's all good guys. That's it. We are done guys. We are done. So a quick overview. I took out the lower part so all the nutrients will be on top. So uh, yeah I mixed in uh, some soil and also um, coffee grounds that we got for free because they do like slightly acidic soil we made a trench around it so when we water it will go directly to the roots <clears throat> and same thing guys we put up PV, uh, PVC pipes so we pour the water inside they'll go directly to the root system and no evaporation the plants will get all the water it needs so this is the one by the gated area right there which is like a little chicken coop so let's go here on the other side here's the first one that I planted I watered it again yeah look at that again pick up the lower part all the nutrients will be on top yeah the Sun is set already so you guys notice it's getting dark but anyway guys yeah make sure guys to subscribe press that notification bell so I can keep you guys uh, updated here in our desert food forest all right, guys, thank you for watching. It's Romy from Solid Gold Shows.